the whole inspection process started through contact from a, a particular admin person at HMI and she was the person who was dedicated to supporting the whole admin process in the school. This is one of our administration teams. Um, they support the inspectors while, whilst they're out on inspection. Part of that is to prepare all of the documentation and to prepare timetables, etc., uh, meetings, things like that. She contacted us initially about four weeks um, before the inspection itself actually got underway. We decided at the start how I wanted to be contacted, what method of contact was the most appropriate for me. They'll also draw the head teacher's attention to the, our website, which is where they'll find an awful lot of their information that they'll need for the inspection. All the required documentation that had to be completed uh, or uh, any other kind of information that had to be passed on was sent to me by email with appropriate deadlines built in all the time. The school would be asked to provide uh, documentation in support of their self-evaluation. We decided that what we would do is take each quality indicator in turn and prepare materials for the inspector on each one separately. We had strengths of the school under that area, areas for development and capacity for improvement in that area. Questionnaires would be sent to the school and those are designed to inform the inspection to gather the views of parents, pupils and staff, including support staff. The key advice that I'd give to a school in preparing for an inspection is be open, be honest, uh, be confident in terms of what you do, set out to work with the inspection team, set out to, be, to use the process in order to help you to improve. Go into it with a determination to get the maximum out of the inspection process uh, and if you do that uh, collectively, inspectors and teachers working together will improve things for the children.